now we are moving on to object oriented concepts uh, this is the basic building blocks of uh, to for being a software engineer and um, procedural languages as far as you just able to know about first of all what is an object now if you talk about in uh, daily conversation there are lots of object basically the real world entity a real world entity a real world entity means it could be anything for example if you go to uh, some market there are lots of people who so can you can say that every people is a is an object so lots of things are there so this could be anything so it can be an instance of class an object is an instance of a class or you can say uh, if you are still unable to get that actual definition so you can just say that objects are created based on the class definition and if you talk about so what are objects your car your home your table it could be your dog your pets pets dog as well it could be your desk it could be your television set or bicycle set or a bicycle so you can see the object can be of anything what are the characteristics characteristics of an object the main are two number one is state and behavior state and why we discuss about state and behavior that means whether they are running or they are stopped whether they are active they are inactive so state what are they doing now that means for example if you talk about uh, dog if you talk about pet if you talk about car so car is an object but it can run it can be driven for example the wheel is moving so the movement is a behavior that on the accelerator when you give an accelerator the wheel will start moving on so that is why the behavior you must add behavior to an object so this is uh, what the state and properties will be having that means color cast and type eyes eye colors and this and that so this can be the further uh, refinement so this is what the object is I am just adding one more thing here to just further enhance and concrete your concept that means it could be a name color breed and whether he or, or she is, is hungry so this is the state that in which state or running it could be running or you can say that running and can be in state but because running is a behavior which needs to be added so that's why it should come under behavior that it is working so if you talk about behavior so simple is here running barking fetching and wagging wagging tail etc so this is the tameness of the of any pet animal or if you talk about uh, the bicycle for example what would be the state of bicycle it should be current gear current pedal or current speed and as far as the behavior is concerned it could be the changing the gear that means if you want to just move faster so you will need to change the gear 
if you want to move uh, for your cycle faster you will be putting more speedly pedals so uh, this is for the behavior of and when the bicycle is on high speed you need to stop so the brakes will be the another behavior to apply so I think uh, this is a uh, pretty uh, enough information for understanding object and as far as the, as far as the orientation is concerned so you, know, you know see that these are all the objects now you will be orienting them accordingly for example if you want to uh, you see the head so the pointer must be on the head and then you have some other parts of the body so each one will come on the call so that is why the orientation is very important as far as the objects are concerned so I think you will understand this now we are moving towards the instance of an object so first of all we would like to have uh, what is instance so if we talk about instance we are pretty much uh, comfortable here to understand an actual use of a class is called actual of a class is called instance Uh, on the other hand the working part as an object working part as an object now the second question is that how to create objects objects now to create object what you need to do is simple is that you have to instantiate a class that means for example uh, let's suppose dog dog is a class you need to create its instance or on a, or an object so dog basically in while defining objects and uh, variable understanding and identification so dog is a different name and small dog is a different thing so dog dog equals to new dog and class bracket ended so this will instantiate an object dog 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 small dog or you can just represent by putting one number over here so this will distinguish that this is dog one and dog is a class and dog one is an object now so you will reference this thing so this is how to instantiate a class so this is now instantiating so this is how to create objects now as far as the instantiation is concerned basically if you talk about to you need to build a car from its engineering drawings so before you can actually drive a car you must build an object of a class before a program can program perform the task that the class method is defined the process of doing this is called instantiation or an object is then referred to as an instance of a class so for example if I'm making a car or I'm I'm just making home so I need to bring all that stuff first and then I have to just give a name and then put all the objects inside so this is what the instantiation of these things now we have switched over to object oriented programming now the concepts are different first of all if we talk about a language designed around the concept of objects it's okay no problem basically when you are talking about OOP concepts object oriented programming you have to discuss about the properties that exhibit certain behaviors to exhibit certain properties and certain behaviors 
this basically includes basically includes the structure of op that is that is uh, encapsulation polymorphism inheritance so or in some cases you can say interfaces as well interfaces as well but main concepts are this encapsulation means if you want to hide the information you will be using encapsulation and if you want to uh, just uh, for example public private variables and protect it and for polymorphism you will be using getting in gutter methods and setter methods and inheritance you have to just use the superclass and subclass concept base class concept you will be extending the superclass or master class or parent class within the parent within the child class children classes or if you want to implement multiple inter inheritances you need to use interfaces so that is why these are the main building blocks of object oriented programming so we are just going to discuss each one separately now if we talk about encapsulation first of all to create a boundary around an object to separate its external public behavior from its internal private implementation so to create create a boundary around an object to separate its separate its external that is public behavior from its internal that is private from its internal that is private implementation for example if you want to uh, develop a software for accounting purposes so definitely you would like to protect the uh, account holders name and account number as well so they can be the part of private or protected variables for example uh, example i have quoted is the i think simple example to understand what is public what is private and what is protected so now we are moving on to other concepts of object oriented programming that one is inheritance so what does inheritance do basically the class may inherit from a single base class Cla a class may inherit from a single base class and the second class may implement zero implement zero or more interfaces for example if you want to create some mathematical or arithmetic functions in let's suppose master m you define all the material there and then you have want to extend the class so this extension will be called as inheritance that means for example if i write some code here you can see this uh, let's suppose uh, class inheritance I just put both the brackets first and now I'm just putting this here so this is you're just going to implement class class inheritance now here are some other methods let's suppose or you want to use this create this as a public 
public class inheritance whatever you want to do this year so inheritance that means class inheritance right one method is here public at white add right I have created this method now I just want to extend the class after this again public class B extends I n h so this will be the extension of class base class to drive class so this is a simple concept of inheritance now moving on to polymorphism the what you need to deal here with now you can see that class can be used as its own type can be used as its own type or class to any class to any base types types or interface types it implements objects may be used as methods virtual methods as virtual objects may be used as virtual or virtual methods may be overridden in a drive type in a drive type that means uh, class B so these are executed instead of the base implementation executed instead of base implementation use of getter and setter methods basically interface is the communication to interact between different classes and to support inheritance multiple inheritance an interface can implement multiple inheritance 